Yeah, and, and the whole while he's doing chemotherapy, sick, sick as a dog, I might add, he manages to star in five more films and write his memoirs. Now, that's, that's impressive. I, that biography channel, I tell you, Mel, it just, it sucks me in. I'm hooked. Yeah. So, Spill? What do you mean? I mean... You have been going on about your channel surfing experience for like an hour now, and I need to disinfect your bar stool. <clears throat> okay. You want to tell me what's on your mind? Well, it's about Rod. Rod? Yeah. That's what this is about? Yeah. Do you know something? No, no, it, it's it's nothing like that. I have no new leads. It's just... Well, Vic spit it out. How long has he been missing, Mel? Two years. Two years, exactly. So I thought maybe you might have thought about, you know, hiring a private investigator. You're giving up on him. No, it's not that simple, Mel. Vic, Rod is still alive. He's out there. I know that. And I haven't had a solid lead in two years, Mel. Try to understand. So his case is officially on the back burner. Along with the investigation of the murder of his business partner. Look, Mel, this was not my decision, all right? This came down from the captain. Mel, listen to me. Mel, listen to me, please. I will continue to look for Rod on my own time, all right? You gotta go. No, no, forget about this. Forget about Look, this. Look, Vic, I'll be fine. Look, I will do everything. Really? Go. Go okay. ahead. Right. Okay. Hi, Mel. You know how many times I've done that? And you always turn to ripples and then disappear, and then I wake up. Mel, I... Rod, I... Oh, my God, you're back. Where were you? Are you all right? Did somebody hurt you? No, I... No, just... I'm sorry, don't speak. Just...
call? Yes. I don't believe this. I transformed. You what? I thought you understood the transformation process. I get the damn process, Cole. Why on earth would you do this? I heard you talking about Rod. You were eavesdropping. I heard everything. I thought I would give you a chance to see Rod again. Yeah, well, I'll take Cole back now, thanks. I can't. Now! I'm afraid it's not that easy. <sighs> this is not happening. The transformation can last a few hours or a few days. I don't have control over it yet. I'm sorry, Mal. <sighs> You did a good job. Thank you, Mel. The alien I captured yesterday was a very dangerous Anixian. Not that, Cole. You did a good job with Rod. Right down to the sparkle in the eyes and the beginnings of crow's feet. You look just like him. I was thinking, what if I retraced Rod's last steps? Maybe I could find... Cole. I appreciate the thought, I do. But this is not an alien hunt. This was the most important human in my life. This is different. How? It just is. I thought I might just take a look around a little, if that's okay with you. Maybe you could do that. Good night. Cool. Good night, Mel. And so where was the last place you saw him? Over there. By that bench, that's where the picture was taken. We had Chinese takeout and talked about, you know, life stuff. Work, where we were gonna go on vacation. We even talked about names for our future kids, if you can believe that. And then what? Um, we finished eating and he left around eight. I decided to stick around because there was this beautiful sunset, man. According to the police report, Rod arrived at his restaurant at a quarter after ten on the night he went missing. So where could he have been in between eight and ten? He went to the gym. I thought you said he read the police report. I did. No one saw him at the gym. Cole... The police never knew for sure if Rod went to the gym before he went to his restaurant. They assumed he did entirely based on what you told them. Well, I only told them what he told me. <sighs> what are you doing? Not many people would be here past twilight. It would be a private place for Rod to meet someone. Meet someone? Meet who? Maybe I can find that out. You can't do that. Yes, I can. What is this thing? It's a digital pattern analyzer. Are those fingerprints? From every person who touched the railing ever since the last time it was cleaned. Which was probably never. The images are so bright. The program uses a much higher resolution than normal to get the detail of the images. Incredible. Can you ID them?
He was there. Rod was there. I thought he was... Wait a minute. Why would Rod have fingerprints on file? Where did you get these? The Metro PD database. He applied for a concealed weapons permit. The prints were required. A gun? Why would you need a... Why would Rod need a gun? Maybe for protection. He had a partner who was in trouble. <sighs> How did you know? About the park, I mean. I didn't. Not for certain. But here you're looking at him. He's looking toward the path. He seems to have something other than you on his mind. Who does the other print belong to? Marco Silvestri. Who's that? I don't know, but he has been arrested. Spin might have set you up with a better leak, but hey, you do your thing, I'll do my thing. I need help. Yeah, we all need help, pal, but this ain't a school. You want to play? You put your money down, yeah, and yeah, I get yeah. around to you. Next off, it's me. Me who? Remind you of anyone? Cool. Man, you're looking good, man. Much better than your old self, man. I like it. Whose body is this? Tell Never me. mind. I need to ask you a favor. All right, that's cool. But look, man, I'm having a good run here, okay? Well, at least that was until you showed up. It seems you picked up the game pretty quickly. Yeah, well, I'm a Desarian. I pick up things fast, you know? Seems very fast, even for you. Well, what can I say? Maybe I'm a natural. Maybe my human host was a pool champion or something. Or maybe your skill has a little to do with the device I saw you place under the table earlier. I got a shot to line up. Next off. I got a shot to line up. It appears you're not playing so well. You did that on purpose. Could have had this game wide if it wasn't for you. Know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. This could create a huge problem for me, seeing as I don't actually have the cash to pay up if I lose. I need you to find out everything you can about this man. Who is it? His name is Marco Silvestri. And note any connection to a man named Rod Archer or a restaurant called Mox. Right. Oh, you wouldn't happen to have an extra 200 bucks on you, would you? I'll take that as a no. I'm gonna go play some pool. All right, cool, yeah. You want to go out looking like Rod? You have to complete the package. Yeah, just put it on. never believe what just showed up here. Hey, Rod. Someone wants to see you outside.
Welcome back, Rod. Marco Silvestri. thought a hit would have been such a walk in the park. He tried to kill you. Yes, Smell. Silvestri does not want Rod alive. Rod. Right. So you know nothing of his involvement with this man? No, nothing. And what about his restaurant partner? I had my suspicions at the time that maybe he was involved in some shady business on the side, but I know that Rod wasn't involved in any of that. He was the most important person in your life and you never asked him about it? No, I didn't. Oh, Cole, don't you think that I have wondered that maybe he was in trouble and that maybe I should have known that and that maybe if I did know that, that I could have... You are not to blame, Mel. I just wish that I could have. It's not your fault. You will not believe this. You won't. You will not believe it. Now stop. What did you get? This is big. This is big. I mean, what I know about Marco Silvestri. It's Tell big. me. He's a gangster, a mobster, mafia, wise guy. Come on, you know. Oh, my gosh, I'm talking that this guy is a real psycho. This dude, he's got this diamond ring that the godfather gave him. This ring is worth so much money, but he doesn't bother taking it off if, you know, he's got someone who has late payments. Uh, this guy is wanted in connection to at least 20 murders in Chicago within the last five years. Boom. And what about Rod Archer? Okay, my sources confirm that Silvestri and the Chicago mob have long-time dealings with the Mox restaurant. And what about Rod Archer? Oh, the night that his partner was killed? Silvestri shot him, too. I mean, he's not gonna leave a witness standing. I mean, the word is Archer is dead. Okay, what? Okay, for now, forget the decades of therapy it's going to take me to get over the guilt. It's better to know, right? I mean, to really know that Rod is... You can't always believe the things Nestov tells you, Mel. Would you rather believe that... that Rod is gone? That he's dead? Than have some hope he may still be alive? Yes. Time for me to stop kidding myself. Just move on. I think you're wrong. The hope of life is a much better feeling than the certainty of death. Do you really want me to stop looking for Rod? No. Thanks. You're welcome, Mel. You know, your ex-boyfriend? No, he didn't. Did so? Maybe a little. What's going on, Mal? Nothing. That is what you always say. So when do I get to play Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo. Don't deny it, Mal. Weird stuff has been happening ever since Cole arrived here. Where is Mystery Boy, anyway? Is that my phone ringing? I think that's my phone ringing. <sighs> <laughs> Ah, salud. Ah. 
Well, maybe we shouldn't bother with this guy, seeing that his IQ was lower than a jellyfish. <laughs> I want to talk to Marco Silvestri. What? We won't do. I'm hurt. Where is he? He's behind that door over there. Knock first. but we still got another car waiting when we get off the highway. Good. What the hell did you think you were doing? Huh? I mean, I can't believe you risked everything we worked towards the last two years, not to mention your status and witness protection. The agreement was Rod Archer becomes Ross Halpern. New house, new life, and you stay in hiding until we nail Silvestri. That was the agreement. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't mean anything right now. You want to nail Silvestri for killing your partner? Forget it. And don't try any more of this one-man vigilante crap! How did you know to find me there? You think we don't bug the joints we suspect are linked to organized crime? We knew you were there the second you walked in the door. That is our job. And if you would let us do it, we could take Silvestri down. Okay. Is that my house? Don't get cute. Do I need to remind you? There are people who are counting on you to stay safe. Especially people here. Stay away from the city. I will. I got him in trouble. Cole's a big Cerrone and he can take care of himself. Now, close your eyes. Excuse me? Just close your eyes, put out your hand. Why? It'll just take a second. Keep your eyes closed. What am I holding? My balls. How do they feel? Like pool balls. Okay, now roll them around. Squeeze them. Does one feel heavier than the other? Yeah. Damn! What did you do? Uh, I filled one with mercury. Mercury helps guide the ball, guarantees a pocket drop with each shot. You're hustling a pool scam in my bar. It's a business opportunity. It's ripping off my customers. I was gonna cut you in for half. Yeah, stop, get out of here. 60-40. Out! All right, you tell me what I deserve. That's it. What? Dog! I'm out of here. Oh, Cole, where are you? Ross, is that you? Ross. Hey, you're early. What's the special occasion? You leave Eddie Barrow this morning and come back. You go, boss. I like it. Hey, say hey to your daddy, sweetheart. I was just putting her down for a sleep. I know it's later than usual, but she had a long morning nap and she just seemed so content, you know? Oh, well, I had her outside in the hammock today. God, you gotta try that. It is the most wonderful feeling. Didn't want to stop swinging. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, uh, did you remember to pick up some diapers? Uh, no. No, um, I'll go back out and get some now. Uh, not right now. Right now I want to tell you how hot you look when you get dressed up. What, did you have a business meeting you forgot about, or did you do this just for me? Hmm? <sighs> you want to deal with that? I'll fix you a drink. Uh, no. No, I'll get the drinks. All right. Yeah. Our deal still on? As long as you tell me what I need to know. Your friend Rod has a new life. He's in Juniper, about 50 miles southwest of Chicago. You're where? I'm in Juniper, according to the name on the phone book. Should I ask why? No. Why not? Hi, Ross. Why are you in Juniper? I can't tell you why I'm here, Mel. Not right now. Why not? I just can't. I will take a bus back into town, and then we can talk. No, forget about that. I'm coming to get you. No. Mel. Daddy better have a good reason for disappearing like that. Ross. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hun, where on earth did you go? Um, well, I went to work. What do you mean? Well, when I left the room and she was crying, you said you were going to fix us drinks and you took off. Drinks? Um, when was it? What happened to your clothes? I don't know. What's wrong with my clothes? Nothing. I just thought maybe you'd want to, I don't know, stay dressed up for me, you know? Hun, what the heck are you talking about? Are you okay? Hello? Rod, it's Agent Barlow. I need you to get out of the house. They know where you are, so take Laura and the baby and get out of the house immediately. Laura! for them to come back. Don't see them anywhere. They could be inside or they could be out here. But they are here. Are you sure you're okay with this? Yeah. I've dealt with alien fugitives before. How different can human mobsters be in comparison? I don't think that's why your hands are trembling. It looks so idyllic. Mel, I'm Ross now, and you're Laura. So remember, we have to seem like we have no idea anything's wrong.
think you're still invisible. Inside is clear, that means they are outside and waiting for the time to be right. Have you found something? Their wedding video. Oh. But I'm gonna leave it right there on the shelf. As curious as I am to see it, I am not gonna do that to myself. I could not handle another emotional blow to the gut right now. There's no way I'm watching that video. Okay, um, as you may know, I came into this early on with, uh, with a lot of baggage, a lot of, um, heartache, pain from a period in my life that I still, uh, I find hard to talk about, just to think about, uh, and I never expected to fall in love so quickly and so, uh, what are we waiting for? Why don't we just go in? Because they'll be relaxing and getting ready for bed soon. The last thing people in pajamas are expecting is visitors. So we wait. But, uh, Laura... Laura was very patient with me. She, uh... She taught me, um, how to feel like a whole person again. Um, so Laura, I just want to, I just want to tell you that I think you're, um, I think you're a wonderful woman and I love you with all my heart. And, uh, I would also like to thank you for carrying our child. <laughs> Approaching the house. Are you sure that you want to take this risk? It's something I have to do. Let's do it. I promise I won't tell the police about you. Please. Get the woman. No. Please. I have a 
have a baby. She needs me. Keep moving. I knew you weren't too bright when you tried to sell me out to the feds two years ago. No. No, you got it all wrong. Don't insult my intelligence, Rod. I know all about it. And now, fate has brought you back into my hands. Please, I have a wife and a child. It's not about them. You had it pretty good out here. You should never come back to the city. But I'm glad you did, because I would never have found you. They think Rod's dead. What's that? Something to help Rod and his family make a new start. like to talk to him it could be your last chance Rod is happy and loved and at least I know he's safe For now, but Cole Silvestri is still out there. I've begun some special research on my computer on him. I think the FBI will find some very interesting information about Marco Silvestri on their computers in the next few days. Are you ready? Yes. I believe I've come up with a way to control my molecular transformation. All I need now is the picture to reconform my mass. I I've got it right here. You sure do know how to pick them, Cole. <clears throat>
So? So? I should get that. Hello? Could you hold on one second?